So you're considering making a move to Madeira Beach and you're wondering what it's like to live, eat, work, sleep, play in Madeira Beach. Well, this video is for you. Today's video, we're gonna go all around the town. I'm gonna to show you guys some real estate. We're gonna obviously check out this beautiful beach behind us. But what I wanted to do is make sure that you know if this is your jam, this is what you're looking for, make sure you stick around because we're gonna cover all things Madeira Beach. My name is Juan Alcala. I'm a licensed real estate agent and I help people just like you buy, sell, invest, and relocate into the Tampa Bay area. And in today's video, as discussed, we're gonna be talking all things Madeira Beach. And one of the things I wanted to do right out here is get out here and talk about why. Why do people want to be in this beautiful city? Well, what's going on with Madeira Beach? It's a small little community, about 4,000 people right on the Gulf of Mexico. It has access to the Intercoastal Waterway, um, has beautiful John's Pass, which we'll uh, enjoy today too, which is a huge tourism spot. It's the number one tourism destination in Pinellas County. It's got gorgeous real estate. And if you are a boat lover, if you want to be able to, to move to the Gulf of Mexico and have a boat in your backyard well Madeira Beach is that spot that's going to give it to you so we definitely wanted to share that with you today and what's going on here locally right now I want to show you this little thing behind me here so come with me guys this is a huge surprise and I want to show it to you right behind me here this little area right here is for sea turtles and you can see they've got it all marked off here and what this does every year the sea turtles come to nest on our warm beautiful beaches and our warm beautiful water last year my wife and i were fortunate enough to see some of these little guys hatch and go out to the gulf of mexico i will try to track down that video and put it in here for you guys so you can see it because i gotta tell you i never believed as an adult i would get a chance to actually see a sea turtle uh hatch and head out to the gulf of mexico but we were fortunate enough to see that last year and this is why you know it's very easy to fall in love with the place that is paradise right which is what you got going on right here it's got some locals back here these, these ladies out here they're waving to you but look at this water i mean it's beautiful clear turquoise water right now it's in the middle of summer um, heading into september and this is some of the warmest water temperatures we'll have and it's just stunning right and i wanted to come out here and share this because this is why this would be considered a fairly choppy day <laughs> And most people, you know, when they come to the Gulf of Mexico, they don't recognize, you know, how how beautiful our water is, number one. Or maybe they've been here before with family and they know it and they just can't wait to get back. But this is why people move down. You know, we've got great water temperatures most of the year. Um, our water is pretty mellow for the most part. Like I said, this is one of the more aggressive days. And you can see there are families just living it up, enjoying, taking advantage of all things uh, that Madeira Beach has to offer. This is one of two public beach accesses. There's another one to the north. And again, you got John's Path just to the south down there, which gives you access if you have a boat to the Gulf of Mexico. And we talked about this before, but this is something I want to remind people of. Even though we've got this, you know, 35 you know, mile long stretch of white sugary sand beaches, which is what you see behind me here, there is not a lot of access directly to the Gulf of Mexico, which is super important to note. Um, John's Pass and Clearwater are pretty much the only areas if you live anywhere in between where you can get your boat up into the Gulf of Mexico and enjoy the day. And it's just so gorgeous and hopefully you guys can see it. I don't know if you'll be able to or not, but you can see St. Pete Beach all the way down there. You can even see the Don Cesar Hotel, which is that pink, beautiful hotel we featured in another video in the past when we did a video on St. Pete Beach. So if you're interested in that, we'll probably link that up here at some point as well. But you've got access to plenty of shopping. You know, we've got a few mile long stretch of beach here that makes up Madeira Beach, but you've got, you know, Publix, you've got all the local amenities that you would need. But this is an absolute paradise, y'all. And the thing I want to remind you of is if you are considering making that jump, I would strongly encourage you to take a look at Madeira Beach. The real estate values are ab absolutely fair for what you get in return. The community is not crazy overwhelming. It does get busy during, during the season which is uh, spring break season. But you know, overall, I think you're gonna absolutely be able to just love it, enjoy it, and uh, soak up everything that the Deer Beach has to offer. I mean, how can you not love this, y'all?
So one of the first things I wanted to do is show you guys what beach access actually looks like here. We're at one of the two beaches here in Madeira. Um, this is the public beach access, you can see it here. You do have access to clean restrooms, by the way, y'all. <laughs> These are not dirty. Um, and there's plenty of parking throughout this entire spot here. I think there's a couple hundred parking spots here. There's another beach just to the north, which we visited before. I'll take you guys back to that as well. But this drops us right off to the public access. There are multiple spots here where you can walk into the beach. There's three actually. So you got the one directly behind me here. You got another one down there where you can see those two yellow posts coming out and one at the end there also to give you direct access to the Gulf of Mexico here and the ability to come out and just jump right on that beach. Now we're in another really cool spot here. It's right across the street from Nira Beach. You can probably see it right at the end of my fingertips there. It's a little street that runs right through uh, municipal Drive here, but I wanted to show you what's going on here. You got a couple local retailers here in the area. I know the sun's probably beating right down on us, y'all, so bear with me. A couple local retailers here, Sinbad's Chest, the Saltwater Hippie, which is a local staple, right? This is the watering hole that everybody goes to down here. You got flat boats right at the corner, and again, then you just walk right across the street and you're on Madeira Beach. Um, you know, look, look, y'all, this is a municipal truck here. This is Florida. They lift them and they put big tires on everything. <laughs> I just always love to show that, but I wanted to show this little street because you come down here on a Thursday, Friday, Saturday night, and this bar will literally be spilling out into the road. This is a absolute staple. You have to come check it out right off of Gulf Boulevard right here. And uh, parking, you got parking right on the street here, um, as well as there's a parking lot right at the end of the, uh, uh, the street as well. Uh, big enough to, to host a saltwater hippie. But what's cool about this place here is they've got, you know, it's open access and in the back too. And um, if we can get inside, I'll take you guys on a little tour, you know, see if they're okay with it. Um, but let's go check it out, see if we can get in. So we're at this very first home that I wanted to check out here in Madeira Beach. And what's really cool about this house is it has boat access. It actually has a boat slip. It's got its own dock in the backyard, which I think is awesome. Um, it's a three bedroom, three bath, 1,856 square foot home. It was built in 1997. Um, it, it is currently listed at 1,399,000. Um, and it, it is in need of some love. And we'll put some photos up here so you guys can check it out. But the thing that this gives you access to is you have the ability to put your boat in your backyard, um, which is awesome. This entire neighborhood is right on the intercoastal waterway. Um, all of these houses here, have direct access um, to the intercoastal waterway. You're not too far from John's Pass and just a hop, skip, and a jump away from the Gulf of Mexico. And we've, we've talked about this on the channel before, um, but you know, there's only a few places off the intercoastal waterway where you can actually get your boat out into the Gulf of Mexico. And John's Pass is just south of here. So this is a prime location. Um, and this home, my guess is, you know, just professional perspective, guys, it's not gonna sell what they're asking for here. Um, it, like I said, it needs a little bit of love, but it is a metal roof. That thing's gonna last forever. This is an all block construction home. And again, it's got a boat slip. So, you know, this is the exact lifestyle that people move down here for. And this is a great example of something that you might be able to get at a pretty fair value um, and make it your own because it definitely needs some updating and some love, y'all. All right, so we're here at the Madeira Beach Marina and uh, we're actually right on the Tom Stewart Causeway, which is the causeway that goes from the intercoastal, so from the Gulf of Mexico here, across the intercoastal, back to the mainland part of the peninsula there. 
Um, it's beautiful. Right across the street here, we've got beautiful Patriot Park, which is overlooking, you know, beautiful condos, awesome water. You know, you come put your boat in the water and then you come hang out at Patriot Park. You can walk around, there's bathrooms there, covered pavilion, it's super clean. You know, and as you come down to the end here, you'll see right there, that's the Gulf of Mexico right at the end of my fingertip. It's just an awesome place to come check out. Madeira Beach is very popular, y'all. It's right, you know, it's perfectly located. You know, you got direct access from the peninsula over to the beaches and you've got the marina here. You've got John's Pass just to the south, which is, you know, a, a pretty dense tourist attraction. But it is also the place where you get to get your boat in the water, which is super important. So I just wanted to point that out. Everybody's always wondering what these marinas look like. Where are they located? Well, this one's right off the Tom Stewart Causeway. Like I showed you before, the Gulf of Mexico is right at the end of the block. Super easy access, y'all. check out a really beautiful home here and this is in a very cool location we are um, uh, attached to the intercoastal waterway here on a little key uh, in a place called Crystal Island and, and this is a community made up of homes that was built in the early 1950s you've got these beautiful rambler style homes here and that's a plumeria by the way which is just one of my wife's absolute favorite plants it's incredible but it's the property right here behind us this is a three bedroom, two bath, 1,815 square foot home uh, that backs right up to the uh, intercoastal waterway. You've got a dock out there, you've got beautiful lawn. And this neighborhood, y'all, is just absolutely stunning. It's super charming. Now the house is built in 1958, and I know a lot of people are like super anxious about that, but when you look around the other homes here, I mean, you've got houses with original windows and you know, people are always really concerned about hurricanes when they come to Florida. And you sh I get it, man, trust me, because I was too. But one of the things I just want to kind of give you peace of mind with is like, you know, these communities were built to last. You know, I've said this in my videos before, but I want to reaffirm firm that and just, you know, let you know that like these communities are just absolutely stunning. I mean, these homes here are not new. You know, they're older than I am for sure. And you know, these houses here have withstood the test of time. You know, when you look at these homes, I think this home right now is currently listed at 1275000 But, you know, these neighborhoods are absolutely gorgeous. And right down here, y'all can see it. You see that tall building. That is the Gulf of Mexico. That is Madeira Beach. Um, you know, you've got condos and other types of living. We're going we're to focus on single family today, um, but there are all kinds of condos. And if you have any questions about the real estate, please feel free to put it in the comment down below. Uh, as always, my contact information is down there too. So if you've got any questions about this specific property or any others, we can definitely help you out. But I mean, again, we're minutes away from John's Pass. So if you've got a boat and you're anchored up in your backyard and you want to be out in the Gulf of Mexico, Madeira Beach is the spot, y'all. It gets you so close to being out if you love to fish, if you love the water sports, you know. These are the style homes you're gonna see. And you'll see some newer style homes too. You know, they, they, some of these homes were torn down and uh, they did build new homes or they built on top of them. That's the other thing you'll see a lot too. So they'll take a Rambler and try to turn it into like a quasi um, uh, Key West style home. I'll show you a great example of that here in a second. You know, you can see it directly behind me here. This house right here is a classic example of that. And it's stunning, right? And you do have some newer construction as well. This home right here was, well, you know, I don't know the exact year, but just based upon the architecture, that was probably somewhere in the uh, uh, late 90s, early 2000s, because there's a lot of arches built at that time. But man, what a great community. I would encourage you to come check this spot out. Let me know if you got any questions. I wanted to pop in and show you another area of the Crystal Island community here because this is why, you know, people move to the Gulf of Mexico. And I mean, when you look around here, you know, if this is your neighborhood, it's a different type of lifestyle, right? And like to be able to walk and run and enjoy this absolute, you know, beautiful area here and know that you're just moments away from the Gulf of Mexico. You know, you can see the the, the tall uh, condo and um, the apartment buildings over there. And I mean, it is right in your backyard, y'all. You can smell the ocean. You can smell the Gulf of Mexico here. And I mean, it's just what is not to like about this place, you know? So if you're waking up and you're going for your morning walk or you're hanging out with your significant other, you're taking the dog for a run, whatever it is, like this is a beautiful area. So I just wanted to share this with you guys because man, welcome to paradise, y'all.
So I'm here at John's Pass and we've been here before and I've, I'll put another video back up in the link for the last time we did Madeira Beach, but I wanted to just show you guys again what this looks like briefly. You know, it's just boardwalk full of shopping. And again, this is one of the most visited places in Pinellas County. I think it is the number one tourist attraction here. And you've got arcades and the brewery right behind me here. Down on, on the edge down there is the actual John's Pass. And for those of you that don't know, John's Pass is uh, an area that was actually a part of the Barrier Islands. And then the storm came through. You know, I don't remember how many years ago it was, but it blew this part of the uh, Barrier Island out. And now it ha it's provided access to everyone who lives in the intercoastal waterway to take their boats out into the Gulf of Mexico. So it's just a really cool spot. It gives you an opportunity to check it out, but it's gorgeous. I know that there's some um, short-term rentals back here that you can rent as well. There's restaurants right along the water on that side. And just on the other side over here is the Gulf of Mexico. It's super convenient, located right off of Gulf Boulevard. Uh, drawbridge is right over there that lets those bigger ships out into the uh, Gulf of Mexico. But it's just a really cool spot to come visit, grab a beer, grab a bite to eat, grab some of the local fare, and get a, uh, you know some ice cream too, um, and pick up all the things you want on the tourism stop that you'd normally do. So John's Pass, y'all, really cool spot. So rather than just talking about it, why not I'll just jump over here and show you guys so i'm in john's pass park uh, which has plenty of parking right here you can see there's the bridge right there it's a drawbridge that allows the big ships to come in and out but you can see where everybody's taking their boats in and out so most of these people either live uh, on the intercoastal you know the houses we've showed you guys today um, and are going back home or they've rented boats and uh, they're, they're in the marina and then coming out to the bay here but yeah it's just a great spot you got a young man down here looking for shells and uh, sea creatures, which is really cool, just doing a little bit of snorkeling. But this is it, man. And, and back there, I don't know if you guys can see it, you got the boardwalk right there. Um, that's exactly where John's Pass was. You were checking it all out. You've got uh, dinner cruises and things you can do like that, just like over in Clearwater as well. But all right, this point runs wraps around here, and you can just hang out. You've got somebody down there just doing their thing down there, and the boat's coming in. So, yeah, Madeira Beach is just, y'all, this is why people come. We're in paradise. Okay, so now we're gonna check out this four bedroom, three and a half bath, 2,055 square foot townhouse right off of Gulf Boulevard. Um, literally, the Gulf of Mexico is right across behind this building here. Um, one of the things that I will say is like, when you're right on the Gulf, um, you know, you have easy access. This is a little bit busier road. This is something I wanna be mindful of. You know, when you get down to Madeira Beach, it's two lanes on each side plus a turn lane. So it's pretty busy down here. Um, you've got all kinds of condos and townhouses that can be rented, short term rentals for, you know, tourism and, uh, you know, just that type of lifestyle. So I want you to be aware of that. But what you do have access to is direct access to the Gulf of Mexico. So this, these uh, townhouses here were built in uh, 2002. We'll put some photos up here so you guys can check those out um, and just get a handle on it. But you do back right up. What I like about uh, this townhouse in particular is number one, the access, but number two, it does have a, a patio, a covered lanai, and it overlooks the courtyard here. You do have garage space immediately directly off the Gulf, of, uh, Gulf Boulevard here. Um, so it's easy in and out, gives you a whole bunch of flexibility when you're living in the area here. They are building another new development here. There are new developments going up. So, you know, if you're not somebody who wants something a little bit older, if you're looking for new, first of all, I just want you to be aware that you can get that. It's just going to cost you um, more money for sure. For two, um, sometimes those developments sell out very, very fast. So if you see something, you have interest in it, um, or you want perspective on it, feel free to connect with us. We, we put our contact information down below, or just leave a comment. Be more than happy to answer that there as well. But I think this is a great opportunity to kind of get out and show you guys exactly what it is, you know, in terms of uh, real estate in the area here. I really hope you've enjoyed exploring Madeira Beach as much as I've enjoyed sharing it with you. Y'all, this place is an absolute paradise. And if you're considering buying, selling, relocating your investment in the area, please don't hesitate to reach out. Again, my name is Juan Alcala. I'm a licensed real estate agent and a team leader here with the True Living Group. We help people just like you buy, sell, relocate, and invest in the area. And until next time, go out and live that Tampa life.